benefit here. It's a benefit for Turk. And Turk was an amazing therapy dog. And he belonged to BJ Matson. Many of you know BJ or BJ? Yeah, there she is. Yes. And he was a therapy dog for BJ for nine years, and he died unexpectedly and left her heartbroken and uh, with a large vet bill. And uh, when I talked to her a couple weekends ago, I said, what can I do? And but this is sort of what came out of that conversation. because So this is a moment of healing and a moment of coming together in community and uh, a moment for some fabulous musicians that I know and have been so fortunate to be part of their community to come together and have some great music. We're going to showcase, each musician is going to showcase two, three songs, and some of us might play with others, and however that goes down, we're, we're open for that. And we have the tip jar right there, and any, any contribution that you feel moved to make in response to the music will go to the Turk Fund, and the Turk Fund will be um, used at first, at least, to pay the vet bill. Yeah, and then uh, also I run a rescue, so it all, that, you know, if there's any extra, but also people are welcome to sign the book and put their information in here and a little comment if they like. say a few words. Oh. My friend B.J. Nats. Never had a loss for words. <laughs> yeah, well, I am in this case. Uh, I am Beach, I'm the dog chatterer from Public Access TV. You recognize me. <laughs> but I usually am downstairs running a show with Josh. But, uh, and uh, one of my resident uh, um, dog psychologists and resident advisors on the show, The Dog Chatterer, was Turk. He was uh, my, uh, my main dog psychologist. We would ask his advice when we would uh, really get stumped. We used to have a call-in show and there were some really good, good uh, you know, answers he came up with. So. You, you can uh, look for old shows, the reruns of The Dog Chatterer uh, and on PATV, and you will see Turk the Black Tri Aussie. Picture of him when he's a puppy right there with the St. Francis statue. That is his tug right there and his little lambykins because he was a herding dog. And uh, there's a beautiful card there that has a great... Uh, you want to hand me the card and I'll read the, the verse there. I just want to read a little bit of this and then we'll do this show in a couple minutes. We got a little more open mic. Uh, just for those who can't stay, this is a thought uh, that was sent. We who choose to surround ourselves with lives even more temporary than our own live within a fragile circle, easily and often breached, yet we would live no other way. Irving Townsend, and uh, I just thought that was a great quote. Please stay, we have some musicians coming from far away. We have uh, everything from pedal steel to uh, uh, kalimba, and we would love to have you stay, and thank you very much. And this is a song I think is we're going to open the tribute um, to Turk, and I love this song. I wrote it myself, but uh, I love the topic, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. Here today and gone tomorrow. Well, I knew a man how he loved his wife. Thank you. 
stage and uh, I'm calling him a guitar legend. So. Oh. Enough just, said. Just came off tour. Just came oh. off tour. He's a guitar legend. <laughs> Is anybody here old enough to remember Little Bills? I played at Little Bills. I did. It was up on, uh, it's up there where the Sheridan is now. Okay, so I, uh, check, 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 test, test, test. Okay. Uh, I have a novel out right now, and it's available up at Prairie Lights. It's called In Memory of David's Buick. It's got a website, and they make good Christmas presents, and, and it has a soundtrack because it's about a songwriter from Iowa. And Patrick Hazel is a character in the book. And Pat and I just did a book tour out west. We did uh, eight states in 21 days, 19 towns. It was fun. So I'll play a song from the book. This guy's saying, what's your name? I don't know. Matt? Matt. Matt's going to play later. He's just like me, I think. You know, it's like, it's like, would this guy hurry up and get done? Because I want to do my, my song. I want to hear you. Would you remind me to take this with me? So fortunately, I don't have to sit here with Pat and have him read from the book, which was a, a, a really daunting experience. He's a great harmonica player, but man, you should hear him read. It's a, it's a hoot. Uh, of course, I, I didn't do any better. I mean, one woman in Santa Fe actually got up and walked out in the middle of what I was doing. So. This is a song about uh, that the songwriter in the book writes for his brother in Vietnam. It's called uh, The Other Side of the World. I haven't played harmonica on it for a long time because I had like this really great harmonica player play it with me. <laughs> Whenever he, you know, ticked me off, I'd just get the harmonica out. <laughs> Does anybody here know who Paul Thorne is? Paul Thorne, is he God or what? I, I got to introduce him two weeks ago on stage. And he went, who the hell is that up there now? He's a great guy. Okay, enough of that. There you are on the other side of the world Looks just like this side I'm on Far away, too far away What's it like on the other side of the world? I see the moon, same moon you see Your eyes reflect down on me And I wonder when it's you I'll see on the other side of the world I go slow, you go fast You go first, I go last And the yin goes, yang goes rolling past To the other side of the world Follow you to the other side of the world. 
But the moon and stars have lost their light. They wander over earth and sky, never find the reason why there's another side to the world. Is there love on the other side of the world? Is that why you went so far away? How long do you think you'll stay? Maybe we can meet halfway to the other side of the world. Yeah, I go slow, you go fast. You go first, I go last. And the yin goes, yang goes rolling past to the other side of the world. and I cannot figure out why I still get nervous. <laughs> Do you know? You're alive. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the day comes that I'm, that I'm not nervous when I first start out, that that's when it's time for me to quit. I mean, if you, is anybody here a skydiver? Get real. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much for that metaphor. Okay, so this is... Uh, This song started out being about a bad relationship, and I kept trying to make it into a good relationship. Anybody do that? Huh? Anybody waste their time doing that? Oh no, she's she she really no. I know that she's just she'll come around. She she's in Sri Lanka, right? But she, you know, she's thinking about me probably. So I wrote this and emailed it to her. <laughs> On her birthday. <laughs> she, she was in Sri Lanka. But I like the song, and it's come to have a new meaning for me. All you songwriters that wrote a song that was about some crappy relationship you were in, and you're like driving your friends nuts with all your pathos and angst. And then years later, after that person's out of your life, I finally thank God. You know, the song takes on a new meaning. Anybody experience that? Yeah, okay. I knew you did that. <laughs> this is called, uh, well, now it's called Jump Into the River. There's kids here, right? I can't say what the title was originally. Jump into the river, it's a cool no stream. Let the water carry you down, down to dream. You jump into the river, a cool no stream. Let the water carry you down, down to dream. Say, hey, little girl, in the African sarong, jumping up and down in your Serengeti song, your Serengeti sun and the bobby blue sky, desert shadow dancer asking why, 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 why you jump into the river? It's a cool more stream. Let the water carry you down to your dream. In the river, it's a cool more stream. Let the water carry you down, down, down. I say, sail on, sail on, little free girl. Sail on back into your long gone world. Yeah, you're running in the river with the water melon. Let the water carry you down to your dream. Jump into the river, it's a 
I'd say, hey little girl, with the black dress on, you can boogie woogie till your mind is gone. I don't care about your boogie woogie now, I just want to know how, how, how you jump into the river, the most stream, let the water carry you down to your dream. Jump into the river, it's a cool stream. Let the water carry you down, down, down. You want to jump to the stream. Jump into the river, it's a cool stream. In the river, it's a cool stream. Let the water carry you down to your dream. <laughs> Knapsack. Run away from home down a railroad track. You ran so fast, and she's come off of your feet. Run down to the river where the little kids meet you. Jump into the river, it's a cool north stream. Jump into the river, it's a cool north stream. That's the end of my story. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you're interested, there's a website here and you can go watch cool videos of Pat riding in a Buick. It's a good looking Buick. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a good looking car. It's blue. Pat has this uh, psychotic relationship with a plastic flower most of the time. It really does. And I'll just put him uh, over by the guest book. Um, who's up next? Well, first of all, I ain't no guitar hero, especially not compared to Bob Sarr. As a matter of fact, I don't consider myself a very good guitar player at all. I come from the Joe Strummer School of Guitar Playing. And Joe Strummer, the leader of the class, you know, he said, I don't play the fiddly bits, I let Mick do that, and I like to play all five strings at one time. Five meaning one's always broken. That's how I play guitar. But Gwendolyn asked me to play tonight, and I didn't know what to play, so I picked three songs. Marty called and said, can I play with you? And I said, sure. So I picked songs I thought would sound good on steel guitar. And this first one's kind of a creepy, sad song. It's called Anxiety. And it's a song that I had the music to for a while and uh, didn't know what to do with it. And poor Marie had to listen to it like 40,000 times in a row. And she's like, if you play that song one more time, I'm going to rip your head off. So I went to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> so, anxiety. This is, and the words finally came, revolved around a couple conversations I had with a couple songwriter friends of mine. Basically, anxiety is the devil, and here it is.
Making everyone feel me No one feel me today I let everyone feel me No one feel me today And this thing in my heart They can't stand it when I disobey Marty Letts on Steel Guitar. Okay, we got two more. This one's called Making Noise. I wrote this last January. We had a house concert at our house with Thankful Dirt from Des Moines. And the next morning I woke up and it was me and Thankful Dirt, Molly and Darren, and we sat around drinking coffee and Marie was upstairs sleeping, so we were being real quiet. And then uh, after they left, I wrote this song called Making Noise. Upstairs in our room Past the mornings parting with the moon She's breaking in and out Of her dreams I try Ain't love ferocious and serene And comes a sound Rain soft and sweet From the clouds Oh, 
funny is that you? Or have we got the boys? I said, baby, I'm just down here. song that uh, my friend Marty Kramer wrote a poem a couple years ago. I was going through a bad time and Marty, I came to his house one day, he said, Scotty, I wrote a poem about you. His glasses on. And he read it to me, threw it in my guitar case, and I said, oh, that's amazing, you know, and then I kind of forgot about it like I do about everything. And I found it like two or three months ago and I, I made a song out of it. I messed some words into it and it's called The Time Beam. And I ripped off that old home place with one of these. It's G and E minor, and then it goes C, D, E minor, B minor, C. Okay.
I shake its mere existence, a sip of incipient inspiration. Cause the hunger pain of life gets baptized in good times in the breast of every human being. I'm doing well, if not so well. I get my comfort from believing. I'm doing well, but if not so well. Thank you. 
uh, I'll have time for one more. Oh. So would love. Thanks to Gwendolyn for inviting me out. I'm really, really I'm very grateful to be a part of this. I'm gonna be home. <laughs> really gonna be home. So uh, for for uh, the choice of Iowa City, do you guys want something fast, slow? Do you want a starting slow and ending fast? What is your choice? Anything you know, Washington County. Washington County? So I don't know how it got for you. Oh man, you're, you're talking guitar player there. Well, it's got banjo stuff in it. Whatever you do, you know, make it an original. Make it whatever you like. All right. Why did they tear down? 
Well, it's my great pleasure to introduce um, pigs and clover. You all can guess which one's the oh, I'm gonna say which one's the pig and which one's the clover. But you got it right. I got it right. Okay. And I just have to say, I know they're gonna do one song called Mean Mean Wind. Mean Wind. That is gonna knock your socks off. And if there are any children in here, we, they might have to cover their ears for a couple words. But the rest of us are gonna like it. That's true. It won't cause permanent damage. Does not cause permanent damage. Pigs and clover. guitar and vocals. All right, this song, uh, this winter uh, we were up in Madison a lot. Uh, we were having some, some goings on up in Madison, and there's this cold winter. Is anybody here? Anybody here go to Madison for the, the protests? No. Anyway, there's this cold, mean wind this spring, and uh, Walker was breaking the unions in Madison, and we were down at the Labor Temple. They were locking out the workers down in Roquette, and there's just this mean, cold wind. And it's just uh, a good description for what, what's being done, you know. And right now, people who have more than they can ever want are trying to take from places like this so they can have more for themselves. And that's just a uh, language. So anyway, this is a song about that. It's called Mean Wind. Slam the door. And 
saving me from the potty mouth that was about to come out of my mouth in this nice wholesome venue. And I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Alright, this is a song, uh, in a crazy world, it's easy to feel crazy when you're not. And uh, it's kind of a song about that. guitar legend ready to play for us. So that's Mr. John Lake. And Marty Lutz is going to play with him. This is my hippie song. It's called Life is a Circle. Thank you. 
So, anyway, I was living in this haunted house. You still are. Working on a zombie movie. You still are. And so this is a sing-along. Later on in the song, this half of the room, which is you four people over there. <laughs> that's you four, all four of you. And you, and our drummer. Uh, whenever I go like this, you go, <gasps> okay? And the rest of you, whenever I go like this, you go, ah! Okay? So we'll just practice for a sec. You ready? No. Zombie, you ready? That's, that's good. That's good. Try again. Okay, how about you? It's called Zombie in a, zombie in a Strange Land.
was something that they say I said. My ex-girlfriend is sleeping under my bed. I'm a zombie in a strange land. A dark good friend who's easily misled. Track that boy by the trail he bled. One false step. Wrote. 
I'm inspired. I got to tell you who it was inspired by. Lyle Lovett, Iris DeMitt, um, like among others. So it's a song about how my grandmother taught me to sing. So my grandmother lived to be 103, and she lived in the same spot in Southeast Iowa all those years. And when you live that long in one spot, you can really influence a lot of people. And one of those people that she influenced was me. So we have
friendship. Can I, I want to say Thanks one thing. Yes. Yeah. One, one thing. Hey, Gwendolyn, if Iris Demand puts out an album of her best hits, you know what she's going to call it? Cream Demand. Cream Demand. I thank all you Man. people. I feel, you know, maybe I'm not rich, but I, I and I'm not famous, but I'm, I'm very blessed to have uh, this many people show up, and uh, I had no idea that I could have a from, which I've never had before, and I must say that tonight, thank you, Kirk, I have found I have a from.